Fast. Immersive. Stealthy. Adventure. Gadgets. Exciting. This is Cars 2. This is a different level. The inspiration for Cars 2 really sprang out of spy gadgets and this wonderful universe that Pixar has created. Great job, Mater. And the cast of characters that we've come to love so much. I'll let the fellas in. There are great moments in the movie that while the movie can only spend seconds or a few minutes on something, we can expand that into a much longer experience that's interactive. Uh, one of the things we thought about was, well, where did Holly come from? We knew there was an agency, so we came up with this idea for Chrome. Welcome to the Chrome Training Academy. Chrome stands for, I don't know. I don't know the whole acronym, although I helped come up with it. Cars, headquartered, uh... Espionage! Does anyone know what Chrome stands for? Chrome, the command headquarters for reconnaissance operations and motorized espionage. Welcome to Chrome's preparation simulation. It's the worldwide international spy organization of the good guys. Well done. They could all learn how to be a spy. They could all get equipped with really cool gadgets and weapons and, and play. There's a bunch of different aspects of being a spy. There's using weapons. There's evading attacks. There's going fast. I can play 22. It's more than just a race. It's kind of an obstacle course. You're still using the jumping, um, the two-wheel, the backwards driving, all that stuff to avoid attacks, but you're also using weapons to try to blow up minions, other players, and also just wreak havoc in general. Oh, of course, and then there's probably the stuff that I shouldn't tell you about. The Cars 2 experience transcends what you would consider a normal racing game. It is an entire, authentic Cars universe experience. I know! I make this look simple! You get to be a spy, you get to race, you get to go different places around the world. When you play it, you're going to feel like, yeah, this is Cars, this feels right. This is going to be Cars 2 animation script A. Be line one, take one, and we're rolling. I'm the only guy that actually puts weight on to do voiceovers. That's how dedicated I am. We have 4,000 lines of dialogue, most of which is coming from the voice actors from the film, which really does a lot to make the cars feel like they really are the same cars from the movie. Well, dad gum. <laughs>
We've had a great time coming up with our own ideas and our own take on the Cars universe. And I think it shows. The process between us and Avalanche was a very collaborative process. Pixar tells us the idea of the movie. Even before they have the movie developed at all, they say, here's the basic idea of the movie. And from there, we start to say, all right, what are the sort of things that we can utilize to make it a game? Let's run another simulation. Chrome originated here at Avalanche as a way to try and bring the video game world and the film world together. Chrome is the academy. You're the spy in training. We love the idea that there must be a school that Finn had maybe been to and trained or taught at. What was so fun about Chrome is that it allowed you to see these things that you normally wouldn't be able to see, and things we wouldn't have the luxury to do in the film. We never really got a chance at Pixar to tell that whole story. I think that was really the most fulfilling thing there, is to feel like we're actually contributing something back to the film world. So, you've discovered my secret headquarters. We actually had some game developers come here for a couple of days uh, very early on. Our animators would talk to our animators, and we really collaborate with them to try to make our game look as close as possible as the movie. We've made the movie, you guys make the game, and we'd love to see what you bring to the table. We have a certain thing about truth and materials. It is a real car, it is a real vehicle, it has to act like a car, and yet it has to have these attributes of a character, too. You call that racing? All the cars are living beings. They can jump, they can drive on two wheels, they can drive backwards. They can do all these things that regular cars can't. And from that comes a really fun system of gameplay. Hang boy, dudes! Part of the challenge that we had to do for the game is take our own environments outside of what the movie is. How do we imbue little shapes of cars in the trees and the mountains and the buildings so that it begins to feel like the universe that Pixar has created? Well, I think the technical term is carification. We look for opportunities to bring the car's aesthetic into the sets wherever possible. It's a lot finding natural forms or, or man-made forms. Things like the Buckingham Palace or Big Ben. And as we look at them, we go, wait a minute. That sort of has a shape like a car. Let's just take that a little bit further. You, you have to kind of look for it, and you get rewarded. If you do pay attention, you'll see a lot of neat stuff. You've seen the movie, you've seen the story. We maintain that, that authenticity. More characters, more places that you can go. Everything feels like a movie experience. More missions, more gadgets. It's a virtual playground. <laughs> The idea of a, of a video game is that it's a fantasy. The whole point is to teleport you to somewhere different. It's the end of the Autobahn for you. And we knew there was this aspect of a spy world out there that we don't get to cover all during the film. So in Cars 2, the video game, the action takes place after the close of the movie where you and your best friends are attending Chrome a spy academy where you're learning spycraft. Hey, Did you see that jump right there? It's about racing and saving the world from criminal mastermind. You may have found me, but it's too late. Combat racing is you take your conventional racing and you add these spy gadgets. It takes what would be three laps around a very cool track and makes it three laps around a very dangerous, exciting track. We've invested a lot of time in creating a lot of spy gadgetry. Oil slicks, missiles, machine guns, EMP bursts to try and slow down the other cars. Just like in old spy movies, all the gadgets fold up inside the car. It's almost like a Swiss Army knife with all the different attachments that pop out. The hatch pops open, metal pieces fold out. Where else could you fire missiles off of a car, man? Only when you're a spy in Chrome. Awesome, man. The game experience is going to be what each player wants it to be. You're able to go out and go and develop pretty much any custom mission that you want. All of it can be played multiplayer, from a single player all the way up to four players. It's you and your friends joining the Spy Academy now. New car joining. It keeps you wanting to play more and trying to up your skills over your friends. Cars 2 is really about being with your friends and having a good time. There you are, buddy. We can sit down with each other, race, use weapons, and just have a good time together. I wish I was still more. I've had a crush on Guido. I love Professor Z because he's such a cool little small car. I like to play as Thin McMissile. He's a super spy. You know, who wouldn't want to be a super spy? When you're playing the Cars 2 video game, 
We wanted to make sure that when you saw your favorite character on screen, that they feel right. One of the things that's so appealing about the Cars characters is that they have these bright, robust, appealing faces. So Avalanche came up with a lot of things of making the car emote and having FaceTime. Did anybody see that? We have many of the classic characters from the first Cars film, but we also have some new characters, spy cars. Roger that. Here we go. We've got the new secret British agent, Finn McMissile. We also have Holly Shiftwell, who is a younger agent. I've run these simulations many times, so this should be quite easy. And then to expand the field, we can have some representation from all these countries. Spain, Brazil, the UK, or the Japanese Le Mans prototype car. I enjoy this. Starting up the Cars 2 uh, video game really transports you to locations around the globe. It feels like stepping into the movie. You can go to Italy to run a Grand Prix, or to Tokyo, or to London. It's a cool passport in, in that sense. The world will have no choice but to bend to my every whim. The Cars 2 universe is full of bad guys. Each one of these cars has an attitude as bad as their make and model might suggest. Professor Z is this, is this great nemesis, this evil mastermind. It appears our little race has reached the finish line. He's a troubled car. <laughs> you can play as the bad guys. You can play as the good guys. It's whatever you want to do. If you want to go in there and be a little mischievous and be a bad guy, be a bad guy. I'm looking forward to this as much as I look forward to every victory. Each car is a living, breathing, athlete character out there reacting to your controls, not like a driver driving him, but like you are the car. It really gives you hours of enjoyment because you can have a different race experience depending on who you want to be. Really, our, our goal is to create the best possible play experience. When you're playing Cars 2, we want you to laugh. We want you to have a good time and smile. Keeping the player immersed and believing what's around them. What? You again? Suddenly, the world is open to you, and it's cool to go to all these different locations and be a spy. It's kind of a, a dream come true. It's kind of a fantasy.